everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Reed and this is Reed's Beauty Trip. I am a little Christmassy looking. It is a little Santa dress, a uh, sweater. So, um, you can imagine what day it is. Uh, but anyway, a friend of mine did this and I was like, I, I need to do this. And she said, do it. So she did, Erin M, who's one of my favorite um, YouTube friends on hair, and she does project panning like I do, and she does other things too, but I've met her through project panning. So she did her favorite 10 palettes for the winter, so her winter palettes. So I was like, okay, I need to do this. So I was like, I have palettes that I grab, you know, for these looks in the winter and stuff. So I went out and I, like, I pulled out my 10 palettes that I like the best to use right now as we're going into the winter months. Some of them are newer ones and I'm just really, really gravitating to them this year. So, and they go from drugstore all the way to prestige. I don't know, well, yeah. So, let's get started. And a couple indies. I have an indie. So one of my favorites, and it sounds so funny, is the two uh, faced, the mini chocolate chip. I think I have the full size too, but I just love them. And if I, especially if I want that pop of pink or that little bit of lavender, I love that. As you can tell, I've used up a few, I've hit pan on a few things. But I really, for my browns, for my neutrals, I really like this little guy. One of my favorites. Let's move you. Another one, and this is a indie brand. This is Classy Cakes, and this is one that I kind of put together, but I just, these are some of my favorite colors. The one in the center is um, after my friend Nona, and I love that, and I love this one, which is Groot. <sighs> Those two are two of my favorite ones to use and stuff. I think Golden Mauve is also one I've used a few times. Let me swatch it. So you guys can see my favorite ones and this is an indie brand and you can find her on Instagram I love these are three of my favorite to play with out of this palette and that's from classy cakes hold on let me grab a wipe I'm gonna swatch But yeah, I love Nona Groot and uh, the Golden Mom. Those are my three favorite ones out of that palette for the winter. Since we're now into winter. <laughs> the next one is my one of my fun size by Violet Boss. Oh snap, it's actually in a project right now. <laughs> you can't tell. The reds are just so fun to play with. Um, I'm just loving them. And I love... I will be. I really do like the fun sized um, by Violet Voss. No, that's color green. Um, I have another one with uh, Creme Brulee. I just got not that long ago. So I do like their fun size palettes. That's number three. Another one I like is the ColourPop. And this is a new one. This is the child for Star Wars. Um, I am just loving this to play with just doing that green and it's a soft you know you can make you can really build it up or make that soft green and so I've enjoyed this one so this is one of the my new winter palettes <laughs> we're gonna do a couple of them like gold I'll do my high-end and my drugstore one of them is and this is my second one this is a sleek gleaming in gold I love sleek palettes they are some of my favorite but I love, I just really enjoy, and this is, like I said, this is a replacement palette. But I also discovered last year the Naked Honey. Oh. I still, I will be honest, I still grab my sleek one over that. But out of my golds and su such, those two are my favorite for the winter. I don't know what those gold looks and stuff. Another one, and this is a replacement also, 
is the Maybelline Nudes of New York. I think it even got one of the palette of the years from Allure this year. Uh, this one, just the beautiful nudes. And then it's got those little bit of mauve and lavender and stuff. And I'm loving this one. <laughs> it's a really, really, to me, drugstore palette, this one really does really well. <laughs> um, if you're wanting a nice nude palette, it's a good knockoff, if you want to call it, or dupe. Not a knockoff because it holds its own, but a dupe if you're looking at the, um, was it the bronze palette? Um, this is a good, good dupe. The next one, this is Abused, Loved and Abused. My daughter bought me this a few years ago, but I will, and it's just, it's just not pretty. <laughs> um, if you can't tell. Um, but the Nor original Norvina palette, um, I, this is like some of my favorite evening looks to play with and all that. I just kind of wiped it down a little bit, guys. <sighs> um, but yes, it's used and abused. <sighs> but I love it. I do. It is one of my favorite palettes and it has sentimental value because my youngest bought that for, th bought this for me. <sighs> Couple, these are also two new ones, but... One is the kimchi, uh, the two queens in the desert, one desert. And yes, it has some bright colors and stuff, but the browns and the greens and stuff, um, they've got those popping colors that I just am having fun with for the fall and winter. Definitely it is staying on my desk to be used and played with. And the last one, and I don't have a lot of um, Morphe palettes. This one, just, um, I bought it for Cinnamon Value. A friend of mine works actually works for Coke. Mm -hmm. A couple friends of mine now does work for Coke. Mm -hmm. But this palette, I don't understand the pop of blue, but oh my gosh, the rest of it, I love. Oh, it's like a Mimi moment. Mm -hmm. That's what I call it. Mm -hmm. The cool story. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But, um, yes, I love it. I love the, the shimmers and all that. And it's called the Thirst for Life Art Artistry Palette Coca-Cola. Um, and that was the 10th one. I was like, wait, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> so each of these are different. Like I said, I only had a couple um, high-end drug, drugstore and then a few indies. So... I try to keep a, like a nice eclectic collection on my desk to play with and so forth. I do project pan also so sometimes they don't get as much attention as I would like them to do because I'm working on stuff but that happens. <laughs> uh, so this is my 10 favorite winter palettes for so we say 2021 mm -hmm. so you'll be seeing a lot more looks with these because, like I said, these are the ones that are really kind of setting on my desk um, right now for looks, for work, for every day, and such. So I hope everyone has wonderful holidays. I hope you get time with the people you want to spend time with. And um, blessings.